Recently, there's been one question that I've been getting over and over and over again. So, instead of answering the question many more times, I've decided to make a video to answer it once and for all. In fact, this video is going to go beyond just answering the question of should I be using GMP or Greater Valley on my Corrupting Fever character, because I'm going to explain the mechanics of both supports, when you'll use one, when you'll use another, and of course, at the end of the day, why I'm using what I am. So to start with, how does Greater Multiple Projectiles or Lesser Multiple Projectile support work? These are supports that add projectiles. So if you start by firing a single projectile, it'll add projectiles to the left and right of your initial arrow, and these projectiles will continue to fan out and expand with distance. And this makes GMP and LMP very interesting, because as it travels, your skill gets spread out, meaning you have better and better and better coverage. Now, for something like Tornado Shot, this might not necessarily mean all that much. Tornado Shot kind of spreads out naturally anyway, since it fires secondary projectiles. Whereas for something like Lightning Arrow that needs to make contact with an enemy, this can be very important. It should be noted that there are certain skills which will not spread out in any way, even if you're using GMP or LMP. That would be something like Forbidden Right, where the projectiles are instead ground targeted. Ground targeted and forward firing projectile skills are fundamentally different, but that's probably a topic for a different video. Now, on the other hand, Volley or Greater Volley fire projectiles in parallel. This means all of your projectiles fire out in a straight line. So you're going to fire them to a more centralized location, but they won't spread out as they travel. Instead, they're going to kind of focus in on a given point, which can often be very, very effective. Now, again, a lot of projectile skills in Path of Exile can't shotgun. You're not going to get additional overlaps if you're using volley as opposed to greater multiple projectiles. However, they do interact with terrain in different ways. If you're firing down a corridor, volley will stay perfectly straight and narrow, whereas with the GMP spread, it might crash into walls. And finally, one last thing to note about volley, the damage penalty is a little bit lower than greater multiple projectiles or lesser multiple projectiles. So that can be helpful depending on the situation. Next up, I'm going to be talking about when you might use one over the other. But before I do, a quick reminder that if you're finding this video helpful, please do leave a like, and let me know down in the comments if you find any other Path of Exile mechanics to be confusing. If you want to see more content, such as an explanation of how Corrupting Fever works, then be sure to sub to the channel, then ring the bell to be notified, as I'm going to be uploading that in the near future. But for now, let's get back to when you should use one over the other. The first reason to use Volley or Greater Volley over something like Greater Multiple Projectiles is if you don't really care about the projectile spread. To use the earlier example of a ground-targeted skill like Forbidden Right, you don't actually care how the projectiles are manipulated since they'll be ignoring that part of a gem anyway. Instead, all you care about is the damage multiplier and the number of projectiles added. Forbidden Right can only overlap five total projectiles, so you don't need something like Awakened GMP. In fact, it's strictly incorrect to use that gem with Forbidden Right as it has a much larger damage penalty than something like Volley, and won't increase your single target DPS at all. Now, alternatively, a situation like with Tornado Shot, if you want to fire down corridors without worrying about hitting walls, then it's also really good to use Volley. But what if you wanted to fire into a large open area and hit as many enemies as possible? Or what if you were using Ice Shot? Well, in that case, you'd want to use greater multiple projectiles. This way, you're able to spread your damage out over the widest possible area and get more coverage. Similarly, if you're using something like a ball lightning with a curse on hit setup, you definitely want GMP there. Again, your goal is coverage, not damage. And you don't have to worry about if one of the balls hits a wall in a corridor, as long as at least one ball hits an enemy, it'll be applying the curse. And of course, there's one final answer. And this brings me to what I'm using, because I've never been using Greater Volley. I've been using both Greater Volley and Greater Multiple Projectiles. That's right, it can be both as well. In my case, I'm playing Corrupting Fever, so my Tornado Shot isn't actually doing damage. It just needs to hit things, and ideally it needs to hit things 10 times, as quickly as possible. And so I don't care about the damage penalty from when I combine GMP with Greater Volley. Instead, I can use both. I'll get 8 additional projectiles on my skill, and they'll all be able to overlap pretty well. 
Now, in theory, I would probably get better coverage by using GMP, but in practice, since I'm firing 9 total projectiles now instead of a 5 I'd have with GMP, overall I'm going to be getting similar coverage either way. In fact, at that point projectile speed is going to be more of a factor, and I make up for a little bit of a coverage loss by using Divergent Greater Volley, which gives 20% increased projectile speed. So at the end of the day, it really depends on what your use case is. If you want something that spreads out as much as possible, then go for something like lesser or greater multiple projectiles. If you want something that fires in a very focused manner, or if it deals the most possible damage and doesn't care about the firing mechanics, since it's a ground-targeted projectile, then go with something like volley or greater volley. And finally, if you want to get the most number of projectiles and the most number of hits possible, consider using both, since they do actually work that way. And now I'm curious, have you used GMP or Greater Volley before? And if so, which sort of playstyle do you prefer? Let me know your thoughts down in the comments below. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, be sure to put them down in the comments below, or join the Discord where you can ask questions, get build help, and hang out with the community. A special thanks to my patrons and YouTube channel members. They're awesome, and they get to show it by having their name on screen in the credits of all my videos. So if you want to see your name here, be sure to check the link in the description. For more general gaming content, check out my second channel, 10 Gaming Thoughts, and if you want a water bottle or a cool shirt, I have a link to my official merch shop in the description. I hope you learned something today, and I hope to see you again sometime soon.